Hi, this is Dean Cardinal with Worldwide Trekking, and today I'm going to talk about the first aid kit that you're going to need for Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, so when you come to Kilimanjaro with a Worldwide Trekking, we're going to have an extensive first aid kit. We're going to have a number of medications, all the splinting and bandaging, a gamo bag. We're going to have a complete first aid kit, but you will want to have a small first aid kit for some personal things. So a couple things that you're going to want in a small first aid kit. It could even be in a Ziploc bag, some band-aids, some blister materials and uh, blister kit patches, things like that. Surely some good sunblock, high altitude sun, really a lot of exposure to the sun during the day. So you're going to want a good sunblock. Keep in mind that you're covered up mostly head to toe. So you'll be putting sunblock on your hands, the back of your neck, around your ears and on your face. Another thing is a, a good lip balm, lip block. You want a lip block that has like 30 SPF. You're gonna wanna cover your lips and reapply again and again. Another item, you know, the bugs in Tanzania, the mosquitoes are not really that bad. We're taking our malarone, so of course, we're not gonna have to worry about the malaria, but still we don't wanna get bit by bugs. I find that a small bottle like this, um, this is DEET, it's 100% DEET by Benz, pretty small, will last a long time. It definitely is plenty of insect repellent if you need it. The main medications that you're going to need, prescription medications that you're going to need, Malarone for an anti-malaria pill, Diamox for, for a high altitude medication, a ciprofloxacin prescription for any kind of intestinal problems, and a zithromycin or a Z-Pack for any kind of respiratory problems. Aside from that, one of the other things that's nice to have is some eye drops or some Visine. I do see that a lot of people at altitude, we get up into the Alpine desert, it's dusty, and a lot of people have sensitive eyes. Also, one of the effects of high altitude is eye hemorrhaging, where your eyes will get red and somewhat irritated. So having some Visine drops to put in in the morning or in the evening are going to help you stay more comfortable for your climb. Another good item to have is some ibuprofen or an anti-inflammatory. I like Aleve. Uh, a lot of people like Advil or Motrin, something for uh, you know your sore knees or if you have any other problems while we're up there on the mountain, some ibuprofen or some kind of anti-inflammatory is nice to have. You could have maybe some Pepto-Bismol, some Imodium AD in case you eat something that it doesn't agree with your stomach, and then any personal medications. Personal medications that you take on a daily basis, your regular pharmaceutical prescriptions, important to have with you as well. So I do suggest that you bring all of your medications on the plane when you fly over to Tanzania so you have them in the event that your bags are delayed getting to Tanzania. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the first aid items that you'll need in Tanzania. Hopefully you won't need any while you're over there, but it's very important to be prepared. Learn more by visiting our website at www.trek.com or contact us directly. Thanks for watching.